5,000 fucks, 30 million views, 8 billion dead. Why we are going extinct. We are not going extinct because of the climate crisis. We are going extinct because we can't think straight. Let me give you a simple example. What, dear human being, reading this, is worse? A child trips over a railway line and cuts her knee. Or a child is tied to the railway line and a train is coming down the track. Okay, yeah, it's the second situation, right? Because although the harm not yet been caused, it is going to happen and the kid will die. So far, so good. Very clever of you. So try this one. What is worse, Auschwitz, the Nazi concentration camp, or a thousand Auschwitz, the thousand concentration camps coming down the line due to endless global chaos caused by our elites allowing the continued emission of carbon. Yep, you got it right. It's obviously the Nazi horror, right? Because that actually happened. And a thousand camps coming down the line have not happened yet. So we don't need to worry about that, right? burn baby burn we are going extinct because of your inverted commas right answer maybe a few of you feel like obviously this is subjective that a thousand is actually greater than one and so you don't want us to go extinct in which case for the small percentage of you who have the attention span to get this far down this tweet stroke article, you might want to know what we need to do. Well, as one of the world's top campaigners, sitting in a cell after being given a five-year sentence for suggesting we do something effective about going extinct, I have a few ideas I will humbly share with you. First, humility will get you nowhere. The only thing that gets attention is drama. And without attention, you don't even get past the starting line. Don't write, scientists are concerned. Don't say you are really upset. Don't put in a one-off fuck. No, put fuck 4,568 4, times. Then you might get 30 million views rather than 1,000. This is what I call the Larry Kramer law. In case you're not up to speed on the guy who should be considered the greatest campaigner of the last century, you should be aware that he did not hold back. He turned around the disgusting neglect of gay people dying of AIDS in hospital corridors during the 1980s in just six months. He didn't ask nicely for people to protest. He said, Quote, get out on the streets or you're going to fucking die. When he was asked shitty questions by TV interviewers, he said, when you say that, I hate you. It's what social movement academics call the emotional turn. Emotion trumps all those sensible things like, quote, being right. So you could say that the reason we are going extinct is not because of all the bad guys. There are always bad guys. It's because the good guys are so crap at doing their job. The inverted commas climate movement is like a family friend going to visit the Nazi household in the film The Zone of Interest and politely suggesting it is wrong to have people die in order to further your problematic views. At this point, most of you are going to turn away. It's like the bit in the Bible when the rich man comes to Jesus and says, hey, so how do I get into the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus, speaking truth to power, says, you have to give away all your money. The man walks off. If you want to stop us going extinct, it's very simple. You have to be prepared to sacrifice. You have to cause disruption to the extent the government puts you in prison for five years. 
just for starters. When a thousand people do that, then we will be on the foothills of not going extinct. But just about all of you are not going to do that right because the hell that has the hell has not actually happened yet, right? The train has not yet actually sliced up the child's body on the track. The biggest mistake though is not the mistake to decide not to act to the point of being effective. The most appallingly tragic mistake is to think you have chosen the easier option by walking away like the rich man. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth because what is going to destroy you is not the fires, the storms, the floods like the world has never seen, nor will it be the social effects, the economic depression, the mass migration, the social collapse, the terror of the fascists. No, what will kill you is knowing you read this article and turned away. You saw, you understood, and you did nothing. Nothing real. Nothing that actually would make the difference. Not the emotion. Not the disruption. You disagree, right? Because you are a person of the world. You will handle it. Like the man who goes to war. He can handle it too, right? And then the guy next to him gets his head blown off. And for the next 30 years, he cannot, ex he cannot forgive himself that it was the other guy who got killed and not him. What kills you, you see, is not the world itself, but your guilt about the world. Because you are designed to care, to love. And if you betray that essence of your being, you rot from the inside. And that inside, one day, you realize, is all you've got. Jesus was actually just trying to give the rich man a bit of good advice. So, as Larry says, get out on the streets, otherwise you're going to fucking die. For the few of you who are heroic enough to get this far, there are plenty of pathways to action. Look at the links. And yes. The carbon sinks are collapsing and the carbon budgets are fucked. And unless there is a massive turnaround, we are going extinct. But, as I hope I have explained, that's not the real story here.